Is it maybe f be a little more difficult for the IGL to find uh, the answers? Well, out with the old and in with the new. We're here on the third map of the series, the decider in the winner's match of this group. Winner goes to playoffs and they will have a lifeline. That is the big difference. It's not just about getting to playoffs. It's about getting there in first place. Lower bracket avoided for now. But fast pop peak for Astralis and running out monster. Imperial just reset here. Astralis, oh, they realize last second they spot ahead and they get out alive. They are very lucky to be standing here. Gonna get some spots on the cross. Imperial, this is no shocking B attack from them. Starting to peel away. Imperial will start to up in towards connector, maybe even send a player out middle here. But just over a minute left. Plenty of time for Imperial. Just getting their control. Straight down into connector. FNX will lead the charge in behind him. His teammate forces. It's a bit of water control taken here for Astralis. In terms of the ground taking, Zipix, if they swing open that door, will be the first point of contact. Should set up Farley for damage on the follow-up, but they're not going that way. Instead, they're moving their way through the A side, and the adjustment for Astralis' defense has come through to deal with this. Ooh. Right around the corner. Config couldn't pick a side. Got the decision made for him. Nice tap for Glaive anymore. They're getting close. They're already in. Blame has that cross, but not for long as Fur pops through the long smoke put down by Astralis. Going to try and cancel the plant, but can't do it. Can't do a thing. He's just dead immediately. Taps for Farley too little too late. And Bots comes off of the plant and wins the round with a closing kill. Nice stuff for Imperial. Going into the stack, coming out relatively unscathed. And this is going to be a true test of Fallen's T-side mid-rounding on a map like Overpass. As we already saw, even in that pistol, their plan got pulled out from underneath them with the monster push from Astralis. But they find a way and they find their T-side pistol. Astralis had nothing here, so after Mirage, they should be used to playing with nothing. So Imperial should be taking this 2-0 to zero in terms of the starting rounds on Overpass. I'm going to try and build up some cash here. Forward. Sent through the B site for a holding on the long offensive. We'll start to see oh, a group oh. of players running down into his crosshair. Fur with another 4K of the day. He's had many. That's a lot of 4Ks. Might even be his fourth. Putting him to sleep. Sleep sounds good. Yeah, knocked out cold or Astralis. But they were always meant to be on that eco. So, by round. Coming in quick. All the gear. Farley's on it. Big orb. Fallen's got his Mac attack tack. Oh, almost smooth for FNX. But it's Vinny running con instead. Let's get to be short with that early smoke. Yeah, Jump spot for Glaive. Gets himself into the one position where you can't be spotted or spammed. To use a Molotov if you want to get him out of that spot. Astralis don't have one of them though. So he can be freely left to lurk until the late round and catch any aggressive flanks. Also provide a path for Imperial to double back down B if they don't like what they see on this top site. And right now they don't see a lot. Double long setup on either team. Vinny going to come in through toilet. Timing's everything here. All peaks deep. Farley finds one. He knows it's another man close. Leaves it up to Blame, but he swings. Thank goodness Blame saves his life there. An unnecessary fight taken, but no punishment for it. Five on three. And this is pretty cooked. Yeah, it's not looking great for Imperial. Bomb down. Out towards Long. Uh, for next, will fight in the bathroom. Blame F. At least goes down here. So first kill back for Imperial. Farley is low. Smoke currently Ooh. keeping them at bay. Oh, oh this shot. Pressure now. Oh, FNX needs to kill and he's got it. 19 seconds left. They have to start barreling towards the site. It has to be the A site. And look who's waiting for them. No. Smoke goes down. That's enough to cancel it. You can't run through the smoke. You don't have enough time to make it to the site. And save call for Imperial. All things considered, three players staying up. That's not awful. Considering the, the money is still good, you can get a very good buy into this round. Astralis will take their first round on the board, but Imperial saving three players 
allows them to remain competitive. A decent recovery from what was honestly decided by the double kill along with the bomb loose. So considering you come in with a MAC-10, you leave with an AWP, could have gone a lot worse there for Imperial. But Astralis on the board early. They want to try and grab their AWP back. Farley will have to pry it from the hands of Fallen with his scout. Interesting smoke. Is that the B short? Molly smoke. That is for Fallen. Really like that. They've got lineups. Bolt's going to go again quick into water. Fallen will die though, losing his orb towards Monster. I don't know how. What a deep peak for Zip before the smoke bloom. Wow. Easy pickings. Thinian F and X knocked out. Bolt and Fur dealing with a two versus five. Much better here from Astralis. These two rounds back to back would be rather convincing. If they can get into the CT side rhythm on overpass, you know, we should be seeing a little bit more on the CT side oh. that we got to see over on Nuke rather than the CT side we've seen on Mirage. That one was definitely better. Fur caught blame turned around the middle, checking playground. But Astralis have actually fallen all the way back to the bomb site. So if Imperial did want to hit A, they've got to clear a lot of the map with not much time. Kind of forces them into this B play. And Glaive, it doesn't matter who faces him first, he should get a kill from this position. Unless he gets forced to turn around and then Bolts peeks it. But no one's in a hurry. Are Imperial even interested? No, save call again. Coming yeah. in for Imperial. T side going for it. And uh, Astralis, two in a row now as they tie up the score line. I'd be pretty happy about that. I feel like uh, Astralis in the CT side you're going to see much more impact out on a few of the individuals you didn't see any impact out of. I'm sure Config on outside after this, maybe play some football. Yep, fine Cadian. Yeah, fine Cadian, screaming a little bit. Uh, get himself back into the mindset to come back into this because he was tilted heading into the second half, no doubt about it. For the Imperial side. They realize that they're up against. They realize they're going to be dealing with a difficult CT side. Conservative calls have already started to be made in terms of the saves and the T side. You can't really save too often as a T, though. You will put yourself in economic strife. Sometimes it is better to go down and just suffer the loss of the round but keep the money. But because they had the capabilities of getting this kind of buyout again, it wasn't too bad to save the two players. But at this point, in this round, you can't save the tees. You have to either just all die or take the round win here. So that's what Imperial hoping for, the round win to come through. Fallen going to be sent out for smoke early in towards the bathrooms. And it's quite quick here for Mistrass in terms of applying pressure. Farley's looking to open things up. Yeah, finally a, 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 a mid-take for Imperial where they're given the room to go for it. Again, back to the bomb site is Farley's scout. Blame is left alone in the toilets, but you kind of have to multi-kill here if you're on your own. Farley can watch a short for now, but even then they could walk through on timing. Farley gets re-aggressed. Blame can now sit back and just watch long. They're close. No flash right now. Blame. Just kind of weak. The walk in and oof. Not weak, walk. Well, Blame F was a little bit weak in that round. Goes down straight away. Fur removes him. Advantage picked up here from Imperial. Countering the bathroom setup. Now they need to focus on getting the bomb towards the site because they haven't been able to do that two rounds in a row now. And as I mentioned, there's no saves coming in this round for the T side. You've just got to go. Molly comes in to slow them down out towards long. And that does allow Astralis to strengthen the defense a little bit. In 35 seconds, this clock is starting to take on for Imperial. Do they go back down to B? Absolutely. That looks like the, the call right now. One player there for the CT side. Smoke burnt out. You've got to go through that. 
Perfect util timing for Zip. They Perfect might rotation. set up a boost as well. They're actually coming out through CT. He's going to flash monster. They're flashing him in again. This is screwed for him. He can't save it at five on four. Vinny's out with a kill. Scout will not connect. That could have been it. That could have been everything. But instead, miss shots and the bomb going down. Glaive hits a follow up from heaven. They've got no smoke. They're fighting in the sight. Glaive falls in. He can win everything right now in the middle of the madness. Three players right round the corner. Miss shot. Bolts will win it out. And Vinny just crouched on default climbs up to close the round imperial almost saved in a 5v4 but then just come through get the plant and give us the round that they finally need to pick up on this t side back to back saves into a winner that was scary yeah they've really running the clock down uh the, these t rounds haven't been convincing in terms of how they're approaching them but keeping four players up there that's massive i thought they were going to for sure lose a couple of players maybe even lose the round towards the end there but Great kills being found, and keeping four players up recovers some of the economic woes you might have. You start to build on this now if you're Imperial. But those rounds aren't too convincing. You know, we're not going to see them win those kind of rounds time and time again. But a good pick to find on Blim F. A little pack mentality to remove him. I'll see if they continue that. Astralis, because of the damage done back and forth, they're actually forced into a scenario where they don't have enough to buy. They're actually going for the very conservative approach. Only a couple of Ds being purchased up. A little bit of utility now being sprinkled as we leave the buy round. But ooh, this is uh, absolutely looking like four rounds already for Imperial on the T side. Yeah. And again, Overpass is one of those maps. You know, we already talk about how CT side of the maps are right now. Great grenade, by the way. But uh, Overpass is really CT side. Considerably more so than most. So this could already be an excellent beginning to the half of Imperial. Who knows where it will lead us. They're going to waltz into B, and, well, it's free. It's just zip here with a USP. Triple D gone long. Just going to be uh, hunting exits on the way out. Imperial with the perfect move. And I wonder how much, you know, it's one thing to do this on an eco, but I wonder how much they're going to try and abuse Zip on this B-bomb site, knowing he's a monster player. He's often left solo anchoring. So we'll see how much of a tendency to hit lower there's going to be in these gun rounds. Knowing that not only the point matter blame, but often the AWP will be on that top site. Imperial might just want to try and avoid it. Attempting a unicorn round, perhaps. You feel like Astralis would just throw themselves in at the end. You used to have a unicorn round yesterday with Harry, didn't you? We did. They're always boring, aren't they? Yeah, unicorns are cool, but unicorn rounds oh, suck. Astralis is going to die. Hey, to break it to you. Unicorns don't exist! Here we are, falling. Whoa, uh, blasphemy. Everyone dies to the... Three die to the bomb. Disappear. Like that. Yeah. Blink and you miss it. You know, Voldemort used to drink the blood of unicorns. Voldemort did? Yeah. Were they called unicorns? I think so, yeah. They called unicorn something blood. Else? Unicorn blood, wow. Like I like silver. the big spider in the forest. That's you my like favorite. Him? Yeah. I'm not scared of spiders. Nah, uh, you're, Harry's you're afraid, terrified. Really? Yeah, he hates spiders. I have to go to his hotel room and hide and get rid of them. When he lived in my house, I have a few spiders in my house. Especially because I don't spend much time there. Um, it's a spider's house, actually. Yeah, I come, yeah, I come home with this cobwebs. I'm like, God damn. I've got squatters right now. Squatters, yeah. yeah. I, I, you know, I can't count the amount of times I had to go into his bathroom or like his bedroom at like one in the morning and get rid of a spider. <laughs> I just like, imagine Harry jumping on his bed, screaming. Yeah, yeah. Just he doesn't want to. He's also he's he's a nice guy. He doesn't want to hurt them. Not that I hurt them. I I, <laughs> I do the paper cup technique. Yes, the let paper cup out. technique. Mainly because I don't want to squish a spider with my bare hands. Have it's you gross. ever have you ever done it? And then you, the paper cup technique, and then you put it outside, and then it runs straight back into the house. No, I the one part of brutality I do do to avoid that is I lob them. I'm, you know, let's hope they can fly. Spider-Man style. Yeah, Spider-Man style, because I'm not placing them on the ground. I'm I don't throwing them. them. I just throw them really far. I'm throwing them the and shutting the door really quick. No, it's like how insects can fall. Like, you can drop an ant, like, a mile. Probably not that high. But you can drop an ant. I'd say be, you probably, probably could. They, yeah. they don't weigh enough to... To break. Uh, yeah, I feel like I feel like someone actually did like a Mythbuster thing where they just started like throwing ants off a crane and stuff. <laughs> just see if How do you there. track that? They have someone down at the bottom who just like. <laughs> How do you? I don't. You throw enough of them so it's like a like cup of ants. Do they do they get like a converse and strap like a piece of buttered toast to the ant and you know which, which side was face up? 
Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know what they I can't really remember, but I will look it up at some point. Nah, it's fine. Would you like to be part of an ant colony? If you were like another insect. Ants are cool, man. Ants they are, are cool. If ants had enough of humans, they could they could take us down, I think. There's enough of them. Like I had this conversation actually um, on the No Majors Club where we yeah. started discussing how ants could take over the world. For sure. If you made them bigger. Bigger. Yeah, imagine oh, like that's scary. they can already carry, you know, ten times their body weight or whatever. If you make them huge, it would have like bulletproof skin. Yeah, that's the one thing that we have over ants. They do not survive bullets, trust me. Have you shot an ant? Don't need to. They're tiny. But I'm pretty confident a bullet would, uh, would well, win. Well, the boot kind of crushes them. I would say metal propelled from a weapon would probably crush it as well. That's a safe assumption. Dingo. But if you make them big, then it would really depend well, yeah. on the size of the bullet, right? Okay, so well, we're already making AI. That will kill us eventually. Let's not bio... Uh, Screw it. Let's do everything. Let's not make big ants. Let's make bigger bees, bigger ants. I watched this whole like, there's this, there's a couple of times on Netflix where they make these like hypothetical shows where yeah. it's like, on another planet, this insect is like a million times bigger than the insect here. But there is uh, this future documentary is like, oh, eventually insects will will grow super big. No, we will kill them before they are a threat. And there'll just be a giant wasp about the size of oh. your body. Now that would be cool. I'm sure back in the uh, the old dinosaur ages, there were some massive wasps, massive insects, no doubt. Dinner. Oh, what, we're their dinner? Yeah, no, we just chop them up, have them for dinner. Insects are pretty good for you, I hear. I will not eat the bugs. Well, you can't make you might not have a choice someday, Hugo. You might not yeah. have a choice. They have a lot of protein. Stop selling them to me, Dinko. I will not eat the bugs. I, I think most stuff when it's fried, just tastes the same. Yeah, chicken, ants, aubergine. Scorpions. Scorpion. Have you, had, have you eaten scorpion? I think I have, actually. Yeah? Yeah. Fried scorpion. Any good? Crunchy? I think fried stuff just tastes good in general, doesn't it? Apart, one thing, there's like chicken feet as well you can, oh, you can yeah, buy. No, that's I'm, I'm not that desperate. Yeah. Why, do we, why do humans aspire to eat the worst part of animals? Like, yeah, I've got some pig snout here. Would you like some? No, like, could I have... I don't know some of the fat or like the the back or like you know the legs. No, no, no. We got the we got the horseshoe here. It's quite tough, but if you chew hard enough, you've oh, got lots of flavor in oh. that. Why do we have to eat the weird parts? Oh yeah, I have um, pig brain. Okay, enjoy. I don't get liver. Like, why would you want to eat liver? I don't think I've ever eaten liver. Yeah, that's a bit weird. I noticed uh in Europe, in some European countries, our butchers mainly in the UK sell good yeah. pieces of meat, yeah. but there's some butchers that just sell literally everything. Like, here is the heart, here is yeah. the liver, here is the kidneys. You I've, know, like, I've got a photo. Any of that? I've got a photo of my phone of a entire alligator in Texas, skinned. So it's just like a pink alligator with the the head isn't skinned, but the neck down, yeah. fully skinned. You could buy it, and it has a price two hundred dollars for an entire $200. alligator. I was like, that's a pretty good price, that's man. That's amazing. I don't know yeah. how it would taste. Like one, one little bit of Wagyu steak is like $100. Yeah. Like, that's yeah. pretty sick, actually. Um, Maui Snake had fried alligator when we were in Dallas. Really? Yeah. Was it any good? He said it just tasted like chicken. I definitely would have tried that. Yeah. yeah. It looked like uh, it looked like chicken. You're eating a dinosaur, Dinko. That's, yeah. that's pretty metal, man. Well, we're back, folks. Thanks for waiting across our culinary breakdown of everything you should and shouldn't eat. 4 to 2 right now, Imperial. Scaly boys. Lizard people, you're trying to say? No. But, uh. Tinfoil hat on? Yeah, maybe. What's in that sewer water? <laughs> Lunch. That's yep. where the alligator's hired. <laughs> $200. Yes. Skin it yourself. They're going back to B for an early pop. I like this cool. They've just done the default mid. Astralis was stacked long because they've seen so many long takes. Config has a lot of space on B short, but will he go any further? Doesn't look like it. We're gonna double back into B as Imperial get ready to explode. We've gotta have some util. Bolton and Forward are throwing smokes, flashes over the top. In come Imperial. Molly goes down to try and slow. Glaive is good for one. Vinny trades it out and now under pressure. Zip picks, but he handles it well. Nice. Well, the cover of the barrels can maintain his position and strength can be had because Config's come to help him. Come to help oh. out this defense, but oh. Zipex might not need them. 
as he's just taking everybody down. All right, so Pace, this is a great round out of nowhere. Yeah. And Fallen is down on 18 HP. Well, we were asking that question earlier. Will Zip get abused on this B bomb site? A very weak performance on Mirage, but he feels right at home in the monster side of Overpass. And, well, they can try and batter and bruise, but they cannot get past the Zip. And Fallen will have to save again. A lot of saving in this T side for Imperial. More than normal. But this one makes a lot more sense. Fallen will get that respect. Astralis need the money. And so losing players here is not part of the plan. Good round for Zip and Astralis find three. Oh, solid stuff. Astralis taking the tide. I mean, this is uh, the slowest map within the pool, actually. It's yeah. the biggest. Dust, I think. I think. Maybe. If you're not rushing long every round. I don't know. Dust can you be get so action slow. pretty quick in yeah, here. I guess, Overpass yeah. on the T side is so huge. You just have so much you have to clear. So many methodical moments on this map. And with Imperial's T side, it, you know, they have good utility usage, so it is pretty pretty slow. But this is what we've seen Playmath doing quite a bit of yesterday. Yeah. Look at him. Fur has no idea. It's crazy, man. The timing to do this. And as well, it's the double molly that confirms that no one's in playground because you can smoke the first, but you rarely smoke the second. It's too much of an investment. So Blame gets all the way in. Oh. Orc does find that mid pick. Farley just gets out in time. Config also escaped con back to the bomb site. Fallen's dead. Yeah, Blame's, bomb Blame's well. won the round. Save. Just save. It's over. It's done. Um, they're going to try frag out on B. Anyway, you go. About the ostrich burger. <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> ostriches have really long legs. Surely there's some protein in that. You know, there used to be ostrich racing. Really? Yeah. Well, you Could get on the back, or yeah, you yeah. just like. You get on the back, you hold on. I'm sure they wouldn't like that. The only videos I've seen of ostriches, or maybe it's emus, they're pretty aggressive. Yeah. So is Blame. Pretty aggressive at times. Zip will catch that player with a Molotov out. Doesn't have a big neck, though. No. Squawk. Clark. Config. We Dead. lose to Squawks. 35 seconds left. Maybe. Bomb now recovered. Yeah. Potentially a round to be had here for Imperial. Oh, oh Glaive's got all the way through. He's won the round. He has you won. You said that earlier. But he has what is unlosable for Glaive because they're saving. He's won the round. Glaive has won the round. Can you believe it? I was scared for a second because there was a, a gap into B through short, but Imperial won't take it. And man, what do you make of all these saves? What do you make of this T side? Slow. Very. Very slow. But also, you can't really do much about it either. You know, you lose the bomb in towards mid because you didn't clear playground. Blame F got there. You didn't think about it because the all for Far League was still peaking middle. Gets the picks. You realize, you think... No one's pushed forward. No rifles behind us. You get caught by Blame F. Bomb's down. You're so far away from recovering the bomb. I think it's just the issue on overpass. If you leave the, if you commit the bomb too far one side, the pack is elsewhere. That's just a mistake overall. Yeah, I think Art was tweeting the other day about how he wants this map removed, right? Obviously, there's a lot of talk of map pools, uh, people getting bored of Inferno. I'll hold this thought. Oh my goodness, they're running! It's a rush B. Imperial have had enough of just sitting back and running the clock down, so they're going very quick into the B site. Ooh, oh, config. Dunk. Sent it on in. Quick Nate kill on FNX. Vinny falls pretty quickly after as well. And oh. it's just falling apart all over the seams here for Imperial. Tagged. Fallen's on 16 HP already. Config diving down. Wants to finish off his prey, but Bolts fends off the offensive. Oh, no. And this might just turn into a round win for Imperial. But as soon as I say that, Bolts oh. taken down in the double wall bank from Farley. Oh, lovely shooting for Farley. Even tagged up Fallen before he finished the job. And Config, he's not really had to do a lot in this game with all these saves as the uh, the rotate player, but yeah, comes in with a big double kill. Some nice shooting there, even though he doesn't wall bang the plant, he peeks a bit wide. Gets caught by the cover of bolts. Yeah, uh, as I was saying, Art was talking about removing this map. I think a lot of people, when you when you think about map pool changes, you think about some say Mirage, some say Dust, some say Inferno, like the classic maps, the maps that maybe are a bit stale, especially I think Dust. I don't want Mirage removed. I'm not a Mirage, I'm not the biggest Mirage fan, but I think it's such a classic map. And there are still so many things you can do. I think maps like Dust do get very old, very stale, very boring. Um, but 
overpass, which is kind of a new one. Uh, why, when I try and talk about this, do Imperial keep rushing me? He mollied himself! Uh, Zip mollied himself! Uh, one G! <laughs> That's the that's a real bad one G right he there. He had a smoke, he pulled the that, wrong That's <laughs> almost a protest technique right there. Self malicious. <laughs> what is it called it? Self malicious. Oh dear, they're gonna lose the round. <laughs> he oh, is that scroll nades, Dinko? Is that scroll nades? Self immolation. You got it up. Yeah. Right in front of the White House. That's a hard word to say, actually. Yeah, immolation. Immolation? Yeah, yeah that is right. He had a smoke, but he dropped the Molotov on top of the Molotov. <laughs> I haven't, I've never seen that. Fight fire with fire. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't oh. work. <laughs> Turns out, best solution to fire is well, not fire. <laughs> He's become a flame when he exits. Ah, another one added to the tally. Four up on the board. Five potentially here as he can. Not to find a kill run. though. Oh, run. Run. Nice. Run, boy. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> And it's five on the board for Imperial. Thank you, Zipix. <laughs> There's no smoke without fire, hey? No fire without fire. Yep. No smoke at all. No Not smoke in that round. At I, all. I can't believe it. <laughs> I want to see what Zip's face. <laughs> that's just. That's a tilter. And he's been solid at B. That's why I can <laughs> he's laugh. Yeah. He's been solid all game. No one's looking at. No he's, one's yeah. Looking. yeah, well. Well, he doesn't. He doesn't have to tell anyone. God, oh, they molly me barrels, guys. They molly me. Oh. Why are you in the kill feed? Ah, I don't know. Bug. <laughs> you know the molly bug where it says, you know, you accidentally. <laughs> Bro, I, I swear I threw a smoke and a fire came out. <laughs> I well, it's broken. If you're using scroll nades, now is the time to go and bind each grenade to a different key. Come on, guys. You're not on a controller. You have enough keys on your keyboard. You have enough fingers on your hands. And you've got the brain power to, to press adapt to the key, change. Yeah. That being said, simple use of scroll nades, but I've never seen them do that. Uh, don't scroll nade. Unless you're simple. Yeah, unless you're simple. Are you simple? Probably not. If you are simple, hello, simple. Oh, Cliff. Oh, oh. Push. Vinny catches oh. him, and Vinny gets a double. They just love a B rush. Here we go. Zip. Yeah, yeah. Oh. gets one in towards Monster, but he's traded out almost immediately. I love these Vinny rounds where he just goes ham. Same as last round, just runs out, runs through a smoke, and triple entries. What a way to do it. The Vinster comes in Vin big. Overpass. Vin... Vin Diesel. Vin No. Family. Well, finally, a save is for Astralis this time, not Imperial. Amazing. And now they're poised in Kofi for a very good T side. Which means it could be an Imperial 2-1 victory over Astralis. That would be shocking, wouldn't it? Imperial 2 and owing the group. All right. I mean, one of their wins was over Finest, but this one... What are you saying? That they're the Imperial Finest. should be Finest. But what I'm also saying is Astralis going down to Imperial, now that would be yeah. quite devastating for the this, Astralis this side. This would be legit if they could do it. Well, fist bumps go out and concerned expressions creep upon the faces of the Astralis players. They now have to try and recover this game. You try and stop as many rounds as Imperial can pick up, but given the situation economically for Astralis in this round, it should be Imperial taking a seventh and fur into the molly. Right, he can't get caught from this again. He can't. There's no way, surely not. Blame and playground? Nah, mate, never heard of it. Wouldn't happen. First solo. But Blame's not making a play. Proving to us that he does find fun in the playground on it. Yeah, that's true. Someone's got to. Blame. Oh, he's done it. Blame's done it. Sorry, Fur. He's done it again. Easy clap. And again. A little boosty woosty. And again. Advantage picked up for Astralis, but the problem is they still have weaker weapons, right? You've still got the USPs in play on Zip, who is already close to death. Finally, fans are falling. Australians have a two-man advantage, and things are looking very good for the Danes to take six rounds. This was a beautiful layup for Imperial. I feel like they're just better in the quicker rounds in general. Yeah, I mean, the B-rushes are really all that's worked in terms of breaking through the buy round. It was similar on Nuke as well, right? They had the quicker plays were really potent. 
Oh, oh bolts. Oh, dear. This could be a real issue for the Astrala side, because Config's down on B, but look what he's got. A USP. He has to win the rifles to come back and try and help out. But it has to be a retake now. Yeah. And there's one kit in play. It's on the back of Blim F. One single flash. What? what? Okay. Warbind through the site from Blim F, and that's to kill the Porter oh. back. Fourth gets caught by that one piece of utility Astral has had, and now they're pushing in towards the site. Blim F cutting through them. This is so much impact found on the CT side from Blim F. A 3k delivered, and now Bolt's left. He knows. He has to run away. He can't do anything about it. Blim F's just going to get on the defuse and hold it. He's got the kit in his back, no problem. Dude, insane that's, round for Blame. That's wild. Insane round. But also, you know, it, it, that is the Blame show, sure. He set Glaive up with a gun in the middle. He gets both kills on the retake. But Config as well. Like you said it yourself, he had a USP in pit. What's he to do? He did everything he had to do. He waited. He didn't give Imperial the info that he was there. They would have hunted the kill if they knew. They never cleared the pit. And then he gets flashed in into the site for a, for a bit of damage. Flashed in into Monster for a bit of damage. And he's just the bodyguard to blame that helps him move back in. Config's playing a lot safer on this CT side than he was uh, really on Mirage. Especially in that T-half. Farley... Orp down on long, taking a deep peek, trying to catch anyone in playground, and he might find exactly what he's looking for. Might be deeper than they're ready, and so a flash won't come in in time. Meanwhile, FNX and Bolts in the connector. Blame F waiting on an off angle. Oh, he's hungry. Very hungry. You gotta get those gains, and oh, he looks up towards top con, it's one. Vinny trades it out one for one, back into the 4v4, immediately established at the beginning of round 13. It's an unlucky number for some. We'll find out which side comes out worse for wear here. Oh, this might get heard by the toilet's player, config regressing on long. Farley can find the bomb. Oh, there, just about holds his shot, holds his nerve. And drops Fallen with the package. FNX full blind twice, goes back to the middle. He will be fine for now. Bolts is trying to pick B, but Zip is not offering up the kill as the solo monster player. He has got Glaive moving in alongside him. Vinny has a huge gap. Does he, he want to flank B though? Because they've got to get past two long players right now. Yeah. Toilet it's is a danger. It's all oh. about this kill, and Bolts is going to grab it. Vinny looking oh, for the winning. Oh, he's found it as well. Glaive's head no longer attached to the rest of his body. And Config is in the bathrooms. 14 seconds. Can't uh -oh. really do much about this. Bolts is ready for him. Popping oh. off by. That was some mad foon speed right there from Config. Luckily, Bolts is able to deal with it. What a round for Bolts. That first kill on a Farley on the AWP in Toilets was a sick shot. And he goes on with the closes to stop the saved and stop any chance of that round being retaken by Astralis. Seven T rounds. We've talked about the difficulty of those T sides for Astralis and, and how they're carried by CT Harbs. You know, maybe carried by Blame at times. He's what he certainly won some rounds here on the CT side. It, it's probably not enough. I think even if Astralis get eight, they are going to be in hot water in this T-half of overpass. They've got to try and grab onto these last two. Imperial have started oh. to get more comfortable, find their form. Blame continues to push mid, and at this point, it can be no surprise. Fur has to be ready. That should have been an opening pick there from Glaive. And he really wants it, and he goes and finds it. Nice. Blame laps in the fountain. He has cover from the orb, though. While he's watching the playground. From party. That's where he spends most of his days. Yeah. He's got a buddy at least. Oh, Farley peeking deep. They swap sides. They swap contacts. Then they go back. That's a lovely off angle for Blame. Last place, Vinny's checking. He is caught. That first going to try and play off this. He seems aware. Oh, Farley rescopes in time. And they are just getting swept aside. Astralis with the cleanest round yet. Unless oh. Bolt has anything to say. It's not done yet, folks. Now it, it is, is now done. Now it is done. Who killed him? We'll never know. Da -da. Double fist bump action from Blame F. Bolt Z never was going to win that round. Bolt Z. Huh. Nice. Boltsy. Boltsy. Boltsy now. One kill for Fallen in this half. FNX with three. It has been a top-heavy scoreboard. Bolts with the majority of damage done. Bolts has died three times. What a king. That was his third death. I mean, there's been a lot of saving in the A lot of side. saving, yeah. Boltsy now. While well, playing up towards the 
Hardy. Of course. And he's going to look to see if he can crack open a cold one. But uh, they've already gone long. They've already it. passed on by. He's heard it. Where's the rotate? Complex running up CT, but even his comp play is stuck, committed. FNX should get caught, although timing. Oh, oh this isn't good for blame. FNX has hit the perfect gap. Bolt is double entry B as they push through Monster. Blame saves uh, his teammates' life, life down and con. But Config never rotated off the back of losing his two teammates on the Monster side. Even though Blame called, lads, they're running long. They've taken spawn. Config cut down again. Very weird round right now where Astralis seemingly had all the info, but none of the ability to win it unless Blame can ace. Oh, well, Blaine gets ripped apart. Vinny takes him out. Blaine unable to really amount to much. And yeah, I mean, we're looking at Imperial in a very good position, considering this this T half start. I thought it didn't look that great, to be honest, but a couple of rounds being found, some quicker ones. The inconsistency here from Astralis the CT side, and it's been impressive. Yeah. I think Imperial are without a doubt favorites now in this matchup, just due to where we are, the level that we're getting, the players that we've had step up. And Fallen's going to be on the CT side. Yeah, I don't think I've said Fallen's name or half. I did. Point out, he got, had one kill. Still got one kill. Oh, still got one kill. Oh, dear. I well, did, better I, than Kedian. The fact yesterday. that you get seven rounds T side, uh, CT, uh, like, what am I saying? CT side with Fallen having one kill. No, it was T side. T side, yeah, I was getting really confused there. It's just the colours. Yeah, they're, they're wrong. Around. Okay, nice. That's Trust yourself, you good. God, I, I, I was thinking, like, I swear they were T side. That's okay. Oh, config. That's a quick opener. Oh, Zipex following up at first. Oh. At least he gets one, but it's not enough really here for Imperial to feel good about the start of this. Paciest mid take in the entire map so far. It comes in the pistol round. I reckon Bolts is just using this P2000 because he wants the placebo of the new sound or a different sound. New sound? It's a new, oh, it's a new P2K just Dude, dropped. Dude, the new sounds just got released, bro. Yeah, six years ago. It's crazy, isn't it? Oh, nice smoke. Electronic smoke down for Vinny. Going to give him a bit of room, but he's got the kit. Going to be churned up by Glocks. In they come. Or do they? Going to send Glaive on a mission. Now, don't get in your own head. You give too many fights away. And the bomb's left. Vinny spotting out one short. These are the worst rounds. It's like, why are they... Oh, God, they're splitting up. Four on two. Imperial thought they had the read. The gamble was good. But then Astralis spread thin. They send Glaive into A. Whatever he gets, he sets them up for the B play. He either draws Imperial out of the bomb site or he flanks them. And it's the former. But now he knows. No one's they have in a B. kit here for Imperial. They're going to okay. get another quick kill here. Maybe something can happen of this. Look at the space taken, though. Yeah, very deep. Oh, oh, that's a lovely little angle spotted. Good team play here from Astralis to peek lovely. out close. And Astralis pick up the first round of the second half. Trace continues to try and get the boys hyped as well. Trying to pull this all the way back. As it has been a very tough game today for Astralis. They've not been coming through easy. They had to work hard to win their map pick in 30 rounds when they were not favored there at the end. They had a they won it on a low buy, a lot of eco wins in that half. And even Mirage, they just got destroyed. So this is a, a hard fought game for Astralis. Gonna try and do it on the T side of overpass. Imperial have decided to force their way into this one. Fall in with the scout. MP9 for fur, everybody else on upgraded pistols. Play that dip out. Into water first, realizes the next likely spam is to be the position he was just standing in, so it uses the timing. Of the sound to get out of that. And Blame Map actually does get picked out. Vinny and Fur off to a fly hit for Imperial. First two kills are theirs. The Astralis fight back in the bathrooms and they gain quite a bit of control. They start to move their way quickly in towards this A site. Ooh, tag. They're softened up now. They're gonna bail. At least one player running back. These are slow, tentative rounds, but also you can get into chaos in these last few seconds. 
is still committing into the A site. Nice. Config over the top. Fantastic flash setup for Farley. And oh. Config deals with the second player. Fallen though, still a threat. Finally gets taken oh. out. Falls oh. into the 1v2 and so close. But Farley will stand tall. Astralis will take the round. But my god, that is close again. Oh, sigh of relief for Astralis. They only just get it gone as they go into the stack. The belly of the beast, but the stomach acid will not chew Astralis up. <laughs> nice flash for Farley. Config goes multi, and we needed that. He has had a very quiet day today, as have the uh, the old core of Astralis in, in Zip and Glaive. Still pretty silent. But Astralis are still putting rounds together, getting rid of the force. Now comes the easy one. Blame going quick into that B side. Farming with a back 10. Dink though, not ideal. But not going to hold him back. Two kills. Let's his team go back in and he scout. He sniffs it. He smells them. The pistols. Unarmored opponents. Yep, 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 the yep. delicacy of Blame. Alligator searching. And he oh, skinned them dry. $200 in the bank now. Astralis, 10 rounds. One up. All right. All right. Okay, we got Mac 10s. It's a bonus. So... Would you go to that nightclub? Which one? That one. Pretty grungy. Let's try it. I reckon it'd be... One of, the, one of those ones would probably be... I uh, wouldn't pay an entrance fee. No, you wouldn't? No. What if it's like a secret knock kind of kind of vibe nightclub? Well, how would I know the knock of it's secret? You'd be in, wouldn't you? You'd be the... You'd be illegal crime boss or something. Uh, I don't think I want to be an illegal crime boss. Maybe illegal crime boss. <laughs> yeah. Love those guys. Oh, oh goodness. Blame F. Through the smoke. That's crazy. Yep. And it's a MAC-10. So Blame F taking a bit of a risk coming in with the first kill. That's a massive pick to find us all up against yeah. Imperial's bite. And killing the invincible Bolt. 18 and 7. He's dead. So I guess not invincible after all. Orp is on A, but Fallen again has two kills in this map. Fur on long. I mean, even if they don't flash, they should trade. Jump doesn't see him, they line up. Oh dear, it's a murder on long. Fur with all three and the bomb. They're gonna have to reroute. Fur gonna get caught with nades perhaps. He peeks with the flashbang, the nade up close. They're just trying to bully him, batter him, bruise him, but Fur puts on a show. Four, and there's the closer by FNX. Imperial, what a round to win. Fur is destined to just get 4Ks. Never the yeah. ace. Never the yeah. ace. But uh, another so 4K many. for him in the series. And frustration on oh, Config's face again. Not great tier. Not a great look for Astralis there. First picks found immediately at the beginning of the round, and then they all run long into fur and die. God, this is. I mean, I don't. I just. I can't tell you what's going to happen. Fallen has a mid spawn, but he's not going to take it. Chilling. The fact that they can be this competitive with two players having six kills combined. Oh. That's a nice shot for Farley. They get, they get a B opener in back-to-back -back rounds. Last time Astralis didn't commit after Blame found that monster pick. Maybe they will this time. It's a weakened new bomb site. Fur can always rotate down to heaven and help out. Dropping in utility to the bomb site. Bolt is getting curious. Curious Bolts, my favorite monkey movie. Curious George, throwback. I remember that one. Yeah, good cartoon. Was it a cartoon? I think it was a cartoon movie, yeah. Oh, he's, oh, he's going to find it. Nice shot. Oh, and he flicks back Dink, though. They're chasing him down. Sit with a flash. Not going to do a thing. Bolts ducks below. Grenades from the B bomb site. Oh, Glay finds him. Good grenade. Dies at least a hero. Takes two with him to the grave. Three on three, but Config is very deep right now. However, the AWP is here. We still don't know what's going to happen with Fallen. He's got two kills, but this is the first time he's had a CT AWP in position. Missed shot. Flashes over the top. Looking for more. Hits a tag. Fallen needs to finish the job, but he can't escape. Config's clutches. Three on two. Astralis are in. The fire holds him at bay for the moment, but Imperial, you look at what they've got available, and there's nothing. So they're going to slink on down and do a save call again. And that does allow Astralis to continue to move forward with their scoreline. 11 rounds. You, you start to see what I mean about you know, predicting Astralis to win this one, but 
just barely battling their way through it. It feels like they're just going to stay ahead, keep edging these rounds out, but never really feeling convincing the whole way through this series. A win to win, but it will feel a bit bittersweet if they do it like this in map three. Just close enough. Terrorists Imperial win. breathing down their neck still. Nine rounds to the 11 of Astralis. This game's getting awfully tight. And yeah, Fallen, you finally get him on the AWP in the position to win the round. He hits a tag and then he gets killed. That just is only going to keep you in the doldrums, isn't it? It's only going to keep you back. Hoping for a late activation from Fallen. Let's see if he can do it. Want an update from the other stream? Hit me. Big or Fnatic? Big. They've won it? They've taken the it's series over? two oh. to one over Fnatic. I Big. mean, props to Fnatic for even taking a map there. Yeah, and a very convincing map at that. 16-10 finishing the series are big. Over Fnatic with a 2-1 victory. 16-10 on Vertigo. Ah. Big performance coming in from Roy. 63 kills across the series. 1.23 rating. Wow. Searson top fragging for the big side. Oh, we like that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think that's good. Big win. Fnatic still put on a show. Definitely still a contender in this tournament right now. Fallen throwing himself into the middle. Had enough of getting rounds stolen away from him. But still can't find a thing. Puts pressure on. Resets long. Astralis take middle, not fearful of Fallen. They've got a nice, tasty gap up the banana. Going to try and chow down. If they don't go toilets, they completely bypass this entire setup for Imperial. Oh my goodness, Clave has put together the perfect ruse. And they're going to walk right in. Creepy. They're going to flank. Do they flank B? Because two of their players are lower right now. Oh, it's so tempting. Uh, it is tempting, but the steps being made right now from FNX, they need this pick. Yeah. And then you're going to smoke it off and consider the plant straight away. There's still two players from Imperial at long side. Fur running back, looking to fight, but Glaive has seen him on the peak out. Imperial is such a difficult spot with Zipex in the bathrooms. It's starting to just become a, a save call again here for Imperial. The gap was left open and it was taken by Astralis. Yeah, the worst part about that is when a player comes up CT and dies, they don't even know that it's not just one guy who's hit some great timing on truck. The entirety of Astralis <laughs> fallen. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, that hurts. He held the shot. He tried to play trigger discipline and... Maybe work. Fallen's become a pacifist this map. Who knows? It feels like it, but yeah, if every round he's in a position to do anything. Oh dear. Flawless. Well, not flawless, but uh, everyone dead, rather. Flawed for Imperial. No saves allowed. <laughs> oh, saved. Saved. But 12 9, four rounds away from victory here at our Astralis. It's starting to kick into gear for them because you, know, you look over at the other side of things, it isn't great. Ooh, decision to buy. All right, this is uh, interesting. First bot into a rifle. Everybody else is going to be going with a few pistol upgrades here and there with some Kevlar, but I don't give this round much of a chance. No, I can't believe as well. Like This is as far as poised to win this series, especially if they break this round. Uh, it's crazy because what a time to break your T-side woes. At the end of the game, when you get a you know measly seven-round CT side on overpass... They're going to walk a smoke. The, this cooling has been really good in the T side for Astralis. They found all the gaps. They've done it again. Anti eco into B. Always the right choice of flame is going to churn too. There's one more behind the smoke. He knows it. That smoke came down for Vinny. Getting spammed through it. Out oh. of heaven. Not for long. Blame F is just a mad frogger. Yeah. Okay, he found that. Config coming oh. through as well. Just for it with the rifle that he bought into this one. He's oh. Finally got something from it. Oh, oh okay. little headshot on go the last go. Not going to work. 13 for Astralis. Three away from picking up victory in the series, heading up into that upper bracket. And, you know, we're looking at a playoff stage that will have a crowd. So if you're in yep. Denmark or Sweden, you're a fan of Astralis, come down to Lund tomorrow, the day after. Yeah, both of those days. Yeah. 
Gonna have a, a nice little crowd event here in Lund. Lovely Stage city. Is looking cool. As yeah, well. it is. Yeah, it's getting built day, uh, day by day, bit by bit. Um, it's got LEDs. It's got colors. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm, I'm ready to go. And Astralis R2, because they've been on the warpath this T side. A near flawless half right now. You can just see Glaive's calling is much more comfortable on a map like Overpass, where he's actually played it. Uh, yeah. Mirage, so much. Swing out from Glaive, not comfortable at the beginning of this one. Furry giving him the first kill. Oh. Fallen. Nice. And shot it long. First kill of the half. This Surely is... Imperial convert this now. I mean, this is how they made Nuke even close. It was super one-sided. I think they did it off of an eco win, and then they, they pulled back up to 14. But it felt like, you know, off the back of Astralis' streak, they're ready to end the game. And Imperial suddenly gave us a few more rounds, a blip of light on the radar. Hey, if Zip's trying warbangs, there's one that would kill Fur right here, right now. Looks bams instead. Good angle for Vinny, wow. Blame can barely see him, but the headshot is enough. Two on four into the lower bomb site. They're going to get the bomb. Sip's got to get some nasty opener kill here. Bolt's a hard position to clear, especially with an orb. Don't think this is the first place Farley checks. Sip's showing his face on short. Oh, Farley. Oh, he didn't spot him. Leg seen first. Bolt gets the kill. And Zip. Trying to go mad, but only good for one. Vinny holds strong, and he has been doing so on the B site with bolts. Not just how Zip. Oh, I was going to say was. He did a few rounds, but he also mollied himself, so certainly wasn't a flawless half. <laughs> I loved it. Was the highlight of this whole Definitely. series, I yeah, think. Yeah. All right. More and of that. <laughs> with how many close rounds we've had. Astralis, they lose one. Back to Baroque. Just blame. Fallen now taking his AWP to battle. Will he be able to get another pick in towards mid? No one giving him that chance. Astralis instead are grouping up outside of the B site. It looks like the artillery strike about to come into the boosted position. Okay. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. Nothing in their room. Spend the night together. Da, 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 boom, 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 boom. Yeah, this is a very difficult round to win with just blame. He's right now holding monster. They're going to group back at the B side. They've got lots of util. Astralis plan to run and execute. And that is one way to execute. FNX spams comp. There's another play in con. He just thought it was clear uh, after one kill. And now it's falling apart. Blame's got an entry. It's just Vinny on B. And he's got an AUG. Will really he be able to deliver with a scoped gun? Waiting. I love the stalemate. Biding his time. Waiting for utility. It's about to come in here for Astralis. Vinny's going to be under pressure, but he's got a better position. And so therefore, we'll take out Zipex. Drawing the numbers back to an equilibrium. Utility save this well here for Vinny. Throws the smoke down. Forces Astralis into a narrow corridor on the right side of the smoke and fallen. Brings down Glaive FNX there to clean it up. And Imperial, fantastic recovery in particular there from Vinny. Yeah, Peacemaker pumping Fallen back up. Came in with a 2k AWP and USP closer. So, you know, Fallen's not the kind of guy to give up. Um, but at the same time, just trying to wake him up near the end of this game. If Fallen suddenly gets activated, has a few AWP rounds on this A site perhaps, I think there's a way that Imperial could certainly long this game out. Astralis' money still bunk. Mac 10s. I'd love a fast con right now. Sprint through con, come up into middle, or even out into B short. Two so players you want a quick round here, Hugo. I want a quick round. You got the Mac, you got the Tech Nines. They found a lot of gaps in this T side. Let's see if they can get more. Relatively quick. But Astralis have now slowed it down. MF waiting for the mistake from Imperial, waiting for the overextension, the aggressive maneuver, but it's not coming his way. Astralis will not be given any free kills at the beginning of this round. They will have to fight for them, and fight they will towards this B site until they're starting to be placed. 
Double setup. The monster Ooh. side. Bolts under pressure, but deals with this so many times. Deals with it without issue. Nate takes out Glaive. The rest of his teammates stepping up. And Bolts with the final few bullets in the chamber is able to take away the last. A flawless wow. round for Imperial. Astralis really get nothing done. Oh, dude, this is scary now. This is suddenly not an Astralis game. The, the, they're flawless in and they're running away with the T side and they're 6 1 up on the second half. They now have to work for this one. Imperial have woken up. Fallen started to hit a couple of kills. Still 5 and 16. Still in the backpack of Fur, Vinny, and Bolts. But better late than never. And one or two kills can still have resounding impact here on an AWP. Astralis. They're the last work. legs, Hugo. If they lose this round, they're going to be down to a weak buy for Astralis. Yeah. Lost bonus will start to build soon, but it's not going to be at the point where you're going to continue to be able to buy just yet. So Imperial have a real opportunity. If they win this round, they might just take the lead of this game. That is a terrifying prospect. Blame does not want to let it happen. The warbang onto FNX finds tasty damage. But not hunted down. He heard it. Bolt's got it. Four on four, quickly equalized. Good stuff by Imperial. First oh. got an angle. This is lovely. That pole will block bullets and seriously soak the damage. Bolts follows up. Oh and my. they're going to waltz into this angle, but it's fur to peak first into Farley. Three on three. That's annoying because he had a perfect position. He should have. That should have been a, a follow up kill. It should have been the 4v3. Maybe gets traded out, but at least he gets the one, keeps you ahead. Ah, unfortunate stuff that. Trade it out. Now we hit the 45 second mark. Astralis, if they go to the B site, quite a recessive setup over here right now from Imperial. Bolt's in a crazy spot. Bolt's has been good though. Yeah. Can rely upon him. If there is one player you would rely upon on his own, Bolt's would be that player. 26 and 12. Can call for the rotation of FNX, but because of where Bolt's is playing, he's not going to pick up info that early. He's got to rely on the utility to give way. Here they come. Bolt's will hear them. Can he get a pick? First bullet inaccurate, but recovers to get that pick. Now looking for the second oh. config. Runs him down, creates space, and allows Astralis into the site with just enough time. Shot from Farley upon the peak, and it's just fallen left in the one versus two. Hey, if he wins it, it makes up no like absolutely everything, but you're right, picked Kit up. picked up AK and gone to Farley, who finds three with the orb. Massive round for Farley. We're talking orbs, we keep talking fallen. Farley takes the show today, picks that first player on long behind the, the, the pole, and goes on to close out both players in the 2v2 post plant. Lovely round out of Farley. T-side or finding impact and keeping Fallen down in the doldrums might have saved Astralis's bacon. You said it yourself, Dinka. That was that money for that round. That was the equalizer. That was the way for Imperial to start taking the lead back. And now it's denied. But they can still rebuy. They won a few in a row. It's just going to be their last. So this is it. This is Astralis about to win the entire series and go through 2-0 in the group straight to the upper bracket of the playoff. This round is it, the most important one. It will put Imperial on pistols. If you want to join us in Lund from tomorrow onwards, you can do so by scanning the QR code on screen now. And you can get yourself a ticket. We'll see if Astralis will be booking their tickets to the upper bracket portion of the playoffs. In just a moment, and if Imperial win this round, the game's still back in play. And 149 sec, just divide that by 10. That's, that's 15 quids. 15 squids. It's nothing. Come meet the pros. Come watch CS. See you there. Is he going to be Paula here? Yeah, sadly. I mean, we couldn't. We got to reduce the discount even for Happy birthday, Paula, by the way. Yeah, happy birthday, Paula. We all yeah. love you, actually. If you can hear us, hope you're having a great day. Oh, smoke down. And monster. Astral is grouped up outside of monster right now. Got one player of config up towards mid. Will it be a peak or a mid play? Who knows? You can tell that the game is very different right now. The pressure's on. We've stopped doing these fast, explosive opening kills for Astralis. They're going into a very slow default, finding that gap in middle, taking no risks, using utility this time. They don't want to risk walking into an AWP. 
smashes out Monster. Oh, he peaked a second too soon. Vinny, before it popped, got the spot, and Blame gets dropped. There's an angle for Zip, but he can't see. He just fires off a reaction and finds that trade. Four on four. 25 seconds they've got to go. Fallen. Oh, spotted. A player just right in front of him, but can't really take the opportunity. But the bomb is at the oh back of the pack, goodness. and he knows the Farlick's there. He knows that he's got him, but he has to move quickly. Oh! Has to move around. Scope has made the sound, but it draws him into first crosshair and a double kill. Coming into the CT Stunt. in the time. It's so limited. Bomb loose. And Astralis will not be taking map point. Oh. Imperial will pick up a round and stay competitive in this series. Even though Fallen doesn't get a kill there, like you said, it's the scope, it's the noise, and Fur here, uh, sorry, that player hears it, Farley tries to turn around to fight Fallen, and then Fur peaks. Yeah, sure, it wasn't ideal for Imperial, but they will take what they can get at this point. Massive round out of Fur, who's sitting on the top of the A site and puts up a double kill. Imperial live to fight another round. Hold on when their money is about to be absolutely crunched, Dinko. And we have no idea what's going on oh, now. Oh, Conflict's going to make me yawn. Yeah, dude. Come on, man. It's been a long series. It has very much been. The Charles are in Dallas as well, so maybe the jet lights get yeah, into them. But definitely. Blame F says it doesn't exist. He's a liar. Well, that's, I mean, he's built different. He is built different. That. He yeah, is an jet absolute -like juggernaut himself. does he? exist. Um, Just maybe not for Blame F. It's because he lives on the, the flat plane, the flat earth. And uh, so it's just easy to travel. Those are things, time zones. <laughs> Blame F. Isn't a flat earth? No, obviously not. We'll just make that very clear. Maybe, maybe he needs clarify. But, but perhaps the moon landing didn't happen. <laughs> All right, slow down, Michael Ailey. <laughs> All right, we are on the land of the Swedes. But we now look at the buy for Astralis. It is an AK for Config, AWP for Farley. And that's really it. This is scary. This could be 14 14. This could be an Imperial victory, perhaps, again, opening oh, don't, up. Don't play with my heartstrings, Dinko. I play your heartstrings like an instrument. Like a banjo. Like a strumming, strumming away. away at you. Yeah, that's what I like to do. Strum diddly um dum. Diddly dee. Diddly, diddly dum. Do. Didgeridoo. Whoa. That's what. That's my favorite instrument. For it's sure. A big wooden thing, isn't it? Sure. Mm -hmm. Makes it makes a cool mm. noise actually. The didgeridoo. Fuck, dude. This is what year is it? Twenty sixteen. He's pushing toilets. Oh my! Zip Rolling is him alone. Back. At the bench, strong oh. position, but spotted with the peak on up. So Fur has to quickly change position. Oh and no! Oh no! Fallen peeks out towards long and opens up a chance for Farley. Oh, what a flash! Oh, it's so good. It completely blinds Fur and opens up a chance to move forward. Astralis taking ground. Config deep in the bank, looking to remove all of FNX's money. But FNX battles back. The security's come through, wiped out Config. But still a lot more to be done here as Astralis put the ball down. Oh, they go through the smoke with a flashbang. Bit premature. It's only Vinny. Bolts can't even help him. And Imperial start to consider the money. The economics, the save. As Astralis, they had one rifle, one orb. And they broke their way into the A site. Think about how many gaps Astralis have found on this D side, right? Whether it's walking through monster smokes or walking that one round where they go all the way up short A into the bomb site without any anyone realizing from Imperial. And right there, they find the gap on long. Fallen jump spots it. And Astralis, they just pick him out of the sky and run wild into the bomb site. Great utility this game from Farley. He has had some phenomenal flashbangs on the T side to put Astralis in the sights. You talk about, you know, opening kills and, and players providing it and Farley not often being that guy. Well, if he's at the back of the pack throwing flashes like that, I buy in. Astralis, find 15 off of an eco round, the round that should have allowed Imperial to equalize. Yeah. Well, this is it for Imperial. Either you win this round or you're done. Astralis will take the series two to one. Now, Imperial obviously got off to a winner's start yesterday, so it's not too scary for them at the moment. Oh, oh dear, Blame got it. He did. Another opening for Blame, not bad at all. Showing some aggression. And giving Astralis the perfect opportunity now to take this series. And they convert this 5v4, and they're up against weaker weapons. There's only one rifle in play right now for Imperial. Yeah, Blame 7-3 and three in opening duels this map. Farley 4 and 1. These have certainly been massive factors as to this T side comeback for Astralis. Recall that Imperial got seven rounds on their T side. 
felt like that was enough. Or actually, rather, eight rounds. So, Strahler's quite a comeback. Shadow advantage, first he's won, but there's Molotov and there's Conflict in trade. He's trapped. He got more damage than you should ever be able to in that position. Fallen's regressing, but the orb won't clear it. Oh, he's walking in. Flash. Farley has to dodge it. Fallen's uh, dead. And this orb continues to wreak havoc. Five, or oh, sorry, four on two for Astralis to go to the playoffs. Astralis surely have no problem with making it that. They just have to drop FNX and Vinny. The kit in the hands of Vinny, uh, FNX rather, but no utility for either. Well, I'm just going to go down on the B side. Both players for Imperial elsewhere. He starts to realize they've got to make that rotation down. They've got to try and compete here, but getting through Flame F is a big problem. They've now used another smoke. The Strahl is keeping them at bay. And it goes forward, softens them up again. Vinny finally taken out in just a moment before FNX will come through heaven and be taken out as well. This is it, folks. What a drawn-out series. What an affair for Astralis, but they've got to be happy with the result. That's all that matters. Blame and Config hugging it out at the end. That was a stressful series. Well, not easy. An extremely close nuke into getting bludgeoned on Imperial's map pick and Mirage and then going forward to close out Overpass. And that was not a that was not a clean map by any means. That first half was a mess. But Astralis on the T side, where they often have troubles, where they rarely have solutions put up a massive dub to put Imperial in that 1-1 game. It was interesting because ahead of this, we, we discussed how we thought this last map would go. And I, I had to just believe that it was going to be a scrappy affair, non-convincing for Astralis, but they would just do enough to edge it out. There would yeah. be a, a moment where you feel like Imperial could win it, and that's exactly what happened. Yeah. It, they, they stay competitive throughout their Imperial. It just isn't enough sometimes. You know, such a slow yeah. start in the first half and fall and is a little unfortunate. But Bolts, man, he, he is putting up performance after performance for this team. Just wasn't enough today to secure them that upper bracket spot in the playoffs. Yeah, yeah I wouldn't even call it a choke for Imperial, but both Nuke and Overpass, there were chances to win it. There were, there were ways yeah.